pouring some lighter fluid on the Excelsior and then I'm going to pour it on the, the brand. It just helps start the fire. Um, I need this to be moved. <laughs> Siding on this um, product are uh, a bevel siding, so it should not pro provide a lot of uh, protection from flame entering behind and into the wall cavity, which um, would allow the, 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 the structure to be uh, ignited more quickly. We have a, a more complicated lap joint with a ship lap siding product oh. on this side of the corner, so this should provide more uh, protection. If flame is able to rise up to what would be the soffit, the purpose of these uh, vents is just to show that vents are really vulnerable to flame and fishman entry into what would be your attic. We're going to have light another one. This middle uh, structure has a fiber cement okay. siding product, hot, um, <laughs> which is non combustible. That the, the key here is that it has a combustible trim product. So, what we should see here is that the, the cladding product won't ignite or burn, but the trim product might. And, and so it's just to show you that there are various parts of your of your home that can be vulnerable. You're going to make sure that you have similar fire resistant characteristics at all details. Uh, the structure here is a, a, a panelized siding product, and um, the right hand side is a panel that doesn't have a vertical seam in it. The left hand side is a panel that has a vertical seam. So usually the, a vulnerable part of a siding product is the, either the vertical or the horizontal seam. And so we're going to see with this panelized siding um, the importance of that seam. Um, and here this is, this is a horizontal product that has um, a less complicated, more vulnerable seam here with this uh, lap joint that this is one siding piece laying over top of another. And the one on the left actually is one where you have a more complicated joint. It should provide more protection to the home in terms of flame, uh, in terms of flame penetration into the building cavity. So here we've been doing this for just a few minutes and already um, there's uh, charring at the back of one of these more simple lap joints. Uh, that we burn through now uh, the lap joints with this product, but not on the more complicated joint side. So with combustible uh, siding, that, that the uh, things you want would be a complicated lap joint to prevent plane uh, penetration into what would be the building cavity. And you want something that will resist going to be burning through in a minute, but um, you had several minutes um, lead time uh, in terms of the plane hitting perfectly in the plane that was going. With the, um, with the fiber cement product, nothing is uh, happened yet in terms of plane Where the plane will likely integrate is at the uh, end with the uh, panelized product. Has been treated already at the vertical seam on the right hand side. So I guess the point here is that flame is penetrated into what would be the building cavity here. It's pretty much a loss because you've evacuated the fireplace from the behind your house. You must call them on the We have. I don't know if he is or. I think it was seven. Uh, I'll just see what I'm doing. Is there a dumpster you can put this stuff in after it's done? Yeah, and actually the kind of what we have. The general service will probably just take the part where I can take it out of the dumpster.